the last 30 years, the number of rhinos and elephants that have been killed has increased dramatically in Kenya. If poaching continues at this rate, in the next decade, these majestic animals will become extinct. We as young Kenyans cannot accept this future. We have therefore decided to use cutting-edge technology to find a way to stop poaching once and for all. My name is Marcy and together with Joyce and Tracy, we are the A-Team. <laughs> we met in school. We were in the same class since grade 1 to grade 4. Tracy was my desk mate and Joyce and I played basketball together and that's how we met. We might not be the tallest people, but we're still pretty good at basketball. We sometimes explore the city and just hang out. Tracy and Jess are the crazy ones. They like to do fun things like roller skate on Sundays downtown. Only, they're not that good at it. Even though we live quite far from each other and sometimes traffic makes it take a long time to travel around Nairobi, we still communicate a lot. We all have smartphones and life would just not be the same without Snapchat. We just applied to Innovate Kenya, which is an innovation competition here in Kenya. We heard about motion sensors being used to capture thieves in other places, so we thought, let's build a motion sensor that can capture poachers in Kenya. I'm a computer studies teacher. Tracy, Joyce and uh, Marcy came to my office the other day. They've been asking me whether they, we can come up with an idea on uh, how we can get involved in the competition. We could maybe come up with uh, a robot, something to do with robots in the, in the forest and see how it is going to sense when the poachers are coming in. Yeah, because as we can see the world today, uh, most of the poachers are going for the elephants, for the tusks, and we feel like our species are being endangered. Both Joyce, Tracy and I took computer studies in school. Our teacher taught us how to code. Not many girls do this in Kenya or other countries, but I think we are definitely smart enough to code a better motion sensor than what already exists. Um, I have the PIR sensor, the passive infrared sensor here. Then I connect it to the Arduino, um, which, is our, which is our computer, rather the CPU of our system. Um, so what we're using is LED to show um, any motion that appears mm -hmm. and it's connected to the computer mm -hmm. where we have a software and a code and um, I get the code from my phone uh -huh. then um, once all this is connected and the code is run then the sensor senses the motion and begins to blink but we're still working on a way to differentiate between animals and human beings the you, through use of temperature. We have the temperature sensor, but we haven't yet begun to, we haven't gotten to the, that part of the coding yet. Before going to the Innovate Kenya presentation, the girls and I wanted to test the motion sensor somewhere in nature. But since it's a bit dangerous to test it out in the world, I managed to convince my sweet younger brothers to act as lions so I could put the motion sensor to work. Like hey lions, like they put them down like this. Not so sad, isn't it? Yeah. What are we gonna do about it? Why? What are we gonna do? We'll use my motion. I'm not really sure my brothers understand how serious the problem of poaching is, but as they grow older, I'm hoping they can help me with the project. <laughs> to 
today we are going to visit the iHub, which is a tech and entrepreneurship center in Nairobi with a lot of smart tech people who can help us and give us advice on our motion sensor. I think the A-Team's invention is something that is definitely a first step in anti-poaching. It's definitely ambitious, it's definitely something that would need a lot of experimentation with. Another reason why it's very fundamental to the Kenyan anti-poaching scene is because it's being done by the youth. A lot of people just focus on their Facebook and their Twitter and their WhatsApp messages and don't care about what's happening on the ground and for the future of their country. Today we are on our way to the Innovate Kenya final presentation. There will be a lot of other smart young people who will also present. We hope the judges will like our idea and what we are trying to solve. Um, so today we have a number of judges. Like I think there are around six. That's scary. Like talking in front of so many big people and also like so many other schools. Um, I've seen Alliance High School, uh, Mango High School, those are like the top schools in Kenya. So competing against them is a challenge, but we're looking forward to it. And there's so many other schools, there are like 100 people right now. There's so many, like the whole hall is full. Have you seen how Alliance is so prepared? Alliance is so prepared. I told you just so we competing with them. I'm not competing. No, we're not competing with them. The thing is, our project has more flesh. I don't know how to put it. But then they just. No, but I, I still think we win. We work like we know it. Yeah. Why? What? See, we work like. Oh, we work because we know it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, it's okay. Guess, guess, guess. Okay. One, two, three. Confidence. Confidence. No, Why are you stopping us. me? Is, is that it? Oh, we've not yet been called. Okay. No, no, we'll go. Okay. My name is Masi Sige. I'm Tracy Wankyo. And my name is Joyce Njeri. So, what's A? What does A stand for? Amazing. Awesome. Actually, it's animal. What's our solution? Okay, so our solution is to use passive infrared. The studies show that if the rate of poaching continues at this rate, elephants are going to be extinct in Kenya. And that's not a good thing because personally, I want to, go to, I want to take my grandchildren to national parks and I want them to see elephants. It's not nice, I want them to see it for themselves. Our goal as the A-Team is to transform Kenya into a sanctuary for the world um, because what we need is a new kind of army, an army of the kind. And why we're doing this? Because we're the A-Team. There is no, no plan, plan B. B. <laughs> that was intense. <laughs> we should practice more. Like, I'm serious no, now. I'm serious. Speaking, yeah. Yeah. We should have that cap. Boom, boom, boom. We did it! Yeah, we did it! <laughs> <laughs> no, I have not say that. It's not happening. 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 It's not happ